Oh. I mean, you've got a DK, so DK mid, so he can get the blink. Yeah. Going to try and catch out some stragglers. They do have the ward on the higher ground, so they're going to see Kishka's position. Ron is going to be nearby as well to land the fall up. Arrow might be a little bit too late. Kishka's able to sidestep this, but still, with three heroes surrounding the snap fire, it's going to be an easy kill. Case. <laughs> yep. Just the support. Similar story to Tiny getting called out. Not these, like... Little Gun wanted two with this. Top lane. Boots of Travel already on the Sand King. They're in with the Mortimer Kisses as well. Beautifully done. Okay. Logan, that's a great read. They see two heroes bottom. They recognize Azura is more than likely solo, so they can jump in with no hesitation. Yeah. He, he said casting the Kisses before Sanking even landed the Blink Stun. Who else they found? Not done. All right. Yeah. I don't know if they can Roche with Helm of the Overlord. They'll need a pick off definitely as Azura. Yeah. I'm going to run into the Grimstrokes, at least with the, the Dragonite and Marana paired together. They should be able to get a kill. But again, it's really just support that are bleeding their lives. There's no valuable kill that we, we've seen so far. Being on cooldown plus the Lycan like Shapeshift, I think, means it's safe to go for this. All right, that's a very deep path around the tower. It's going to come at a cost, but hang on. Meanwhile, the backline, Wami, he's on to Sancti. The Orchid being able to bring him down. They'll turn to Kishka afterwards. Beautifully done, army genius. They get to and they get the T1 tower. This orca just gives you a way to actually kill Zeus now. Oh, this is big. They see DB with that ward. They're going to know around about his farming pattern. Eleven's going to be able to catch him out. They'll need the epicenter for the kill. And with the silence, they're going to prevent the battle trance. They even get some help out of the Centaur Conqueror. The chain control is perfect as Lilgon. I think it's weird because Logan is stronger, but they just kill Roche too slow. Like, I think Logan are happy to stick around and take another fight, maybe, particularly while Troll is dead. But at some point, they're just like, uh, we can't finish this Roche off. Lycan's the only one in the pit. His ult is wearing off. Like, Sanking and... Nope. Oh, they found Varus. Looking to Where's deward the cliff. Uh, one more right click. Oh, he's not going to get it. Azura is in. He's playing... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, well, it's pre-20 minutes. Let's go. Oh, that's... Honestly, that's such like a How big swing there. Like, usually these support kills or whatever, but that was like 100 gold from Blink, and he lives and then gets the They're still assist. around. Although he should be okay, killed off. Blink? Oh, that's all right. Okay, okay. He's Mission fine. done. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's what matters most. He's like, oh, it's fine. don't worry, I got my blink. I, now we know for sure there's a ward up there. They, force they know Dire don't have BKBs. And that's when they get super scary. So they really want to try and take Roshan and force the, the objectives while Reese BKBs are down. Combo out. Azura's got the fall up as well. They need a burst down the like, and they should be able to, but Azura just gets melted. DB's going to enter the back line. Meanwhile, the Aegis has been snagged from 11, so at least they have the second life to work with, but they need to be cautious about their positioning. Without anyone to protect the cause, the squishy supports are going to be vulnerable as Fariz finds a beautiful angle under the secret shop. And now they're going to turn to Sancti the next as well. He's stuck in the tree line. Tiny, trying to close the distance. The pogo stick over Sanctity. Looks like he will be fine. There's no way he goes for it on Varishan. No, not going to be Wait, the case. Oh, nice Ooh, reactions. Bottom tower Look at this maneuver. Under. Army geniuses. They're going to run into yep. Sanctity. Oh, he jumps, but still the arrow path thing's on the mark, but a four stuff away. Can they protect Sanctity? Into the tree line it goes. Another no cookie way. down to the left. Another they jump? should get the kill. One arrow, and they finally get him. But at what cost? It might be too grave as army geniuses. Two are down. Soon to be a third as well as Lilgon. They don't keep Sanctity alive, but at least they make the trade worth it. They know they can get that blink jump. Yes, Brute has a BKB. She's on Great the cliff, though, which means this smoke... Yeah, you can pop the smoke and see them. Zero. They're ready for this. Although, they're, they're going to get the proc, so he's unable to blink away. They're trying to leash Wami together as well. They won't have that to lock him into place. No one else nearby, That's but hard. hang on. They're still chasing him down. Wami, though, he's going to need some help. Sidesteps the stun, but Wami beat at the last second. Now with the life still coming back, can Wami survive through the damage at the moment? It's looking like that's going to be the case. They deal with the ages, but can they get set up for round two? Charging to the back line is going to be DB. Grimstroke's going to be killed off. Now they can turn to Kishka next, but the BKB, it's been expended and they can go back in now if they get the combo. But yep. Reese, he's going to make sure that's not a possibility. In first before the Sand King, it's still going to come at a cost though. 
You keep the troll yeah. alive, but again, it's army geniuses. That was a, a bit of a BKB timing. They had two available, and they weren't able to take the fight with it. When heroes like DK are dead, because they rely on stuff like Dragon Tail to lock heroes down. And Azura's not having a good game at all. I'll hold that thought because T2 no. Tower mid might go down as well. Almost a. Hang on, who have they caught out? TP! TP! How are you entering the fight with that angle? He'll get the ultimate off at the last second. They're trying to lock down the Sand King, but still, without the BKB to be able to utilize, they find a big kill. And now Lil Gun, they're just going to cut this out. And Wami recognizes he cannot continue the chase, and Sanctity, we're well, just going to jump back in. Doesn't get the combo out. Army Genius is back to the safety of their high ground. They're getting pushed away. Lil Gun. Finding ways to make this work. Is that uh, the lack of save? I mean, you don't you can't always draft They're it. They're gonna but... bleed another kill. Oh. Breeze. Brutes found the back lines though. Oh boy, okay. Maybe the Grim Shirk they can get force. down. Azura's gonna jump in the middle of this well with the buyback on eleven. They feel the importance of the team fight and it's gonna pay off! They get the Grim Shirk. Now they're going to turn to Nama next to Cookie oh. Stone. Just too late, but hang on. They got a bigger fridge to fry. Azura, oh, no. they found out the Dragonite BKP protecting him for the moment. Doesn't feel good, though. He's going to make it away, but hang on, hang on. The, the buildings, they're just melting. Look, no they'll turn to the objectives instead. Gonna at it again, see if they can find a way in. Wolves will scout the high ground first, giving them vision. They're going to look to go. 12. 11 with the jump. They're going to target the Broodmother for the moment. One is in trouble time. again. A BKB, but the damage has been dealt. Okay. Is trying to live still off the Ancient Creep. But 4 2 3 should be able to get the kill. Can they turn it around though? DP. He's locked up to the Zeus. DP. Beautifully done, but 11's in. What a combo. 11 finds the target. The magic damage is there. And DV's gone just like that. No, but he does have a DD now, just a munch on the supports and a halberd to kite the troll. So, good luck surviving this last fight. And they're a little bit too late to get set up in a position to take a fight by this tier 2. I mean, dude, 11! How many times are you going to find multi-man bow strikes like that? Get the initiation with the leash follow-up as well, with the Mortimer Kisses almost bring down Naaman. Down to the south, though. Tabs onto Wami. Safety is able to secure with a kill. Now with the BKB expiring from DB. That's it. They weren't able to take the fights off the back of the initial BKBs and Lil Gun. Man, what a game one from them. They give them the combo, they get the like, and they get the grim choke, and they will make them pay. Yeah, and honestly, just a super solid game. Like, I, I don't feel like this was an outdraft or anything. Like, because you're gonna, you're gonna put four, two, three in the side lane. So then it's gonna be like Quat versus Monkey mid, which Azura is gonna get bodied. You were just mentioning before that you kind of want to give Azura a good game. Was a hero that when the, the Queen of Pain was a little bit more popular, we were seeing it like first phase, not too long ago, honestly, like five months ago, maybe, where a lot of people were trying to flex it into the position three, saw Mizu do it, uh, Petashara as well over in Eastern Europe, we got a lot of action, Varys, top's gonna go down, bottom lane as well, Ace 12 is, is falling pretty low, he's gonna be okay for the moment. Man, everyone, you take a look at the side lanes, everyone's really low health, I mean, yeah, I was intrigued on how he was going to look to itemize as well. Wraithman's going to be really nice for the lane, but I didn't know if he was going to go like kind of first item Morbid Mask just to help out versus that chip damage. And his bottom, Ace 12 and Sanctity should be able to finally get a kill down bottom. It is going to come at a cost though in Ace 12's life. They will trade it nonetheless. Oh no, you hate to see it. They gave the 11 had a bottle, they gave it over to Kishka to try and <laughs> pick up the bounty, but. Kishka, unfortunately, unable to do so. And he... Let's see if they can get the kill. It's going to be pretty difficult. He'll use the spear early on to hold back Varys. And it's just going to be up to the Monkey King and the Bane to get the kill in the end. He does have the Orb of Venom for the slow. Even better body blocks, though, coming through from the Bane. Beautifully done. And Zero, he's got two kills on the board. What are they going to do this one? I'm trying to run into 4-2-3. Oh, what? He got down the right tree! Four, two, three. Oh this is a huge kill. Azura, he's stuck, I think. He's able to cut through for the moment. The center sun. Oh my god. What? Nice micro, though, with the spiderlings. Not going to get brought down for the boundless, and our ace is in. Now, I'm going to try and hold them back with the Mortimer Kiss, but Kish got beautiful read. Instantly cancels that one, but everyone is showing up for this team fight. Azura somehow still goes down. Four, two, three with the spawn spiderlings burst. 
That's a big kill into the Monkey King. He was having an exceptional start. And they should be able to run into Womi as well as Ace 12 slams down with the rebound. Bottom lane, Womi in some trouble, but he's going to turn in with the smoke coming in. They want to fight this. They've got the Fiend's Grip as well. If they can just land onto Sanctity. He's still going to go down though. They get the kill into Womi, but of course it's going to be a trade that Army Geniuses are happy with, especially with DB getting the double kill. Yeah, good job by Army Geniuses just to get out. They sacrificed the Bane there, but you can see Logan feeling like they're strong now with this Brood really starting to get active and involved, not to mention Kishka having the Mars Arena in play. Oh, well, they caught the monkey in the trees. Nicely done, but Naman again, the reposition for the cookie. Eleven's going to jump. Has the Sonic Wave if they oh, require Sonic it. Wave. They might need it, but Wommy! What a big Whoa. entrance to the fight with the Pangolee! Slams down with a shield crash. Getting rid of two heroes instantly. And now they can turn their attention to 4-2-3. Webs on webs, DV. <laughs> Try to run into to the brood. Oh, He's my. <laughs> Looks like he loses his web when he morphs back to Morphling, so... Do you have to blink on Wommy, though? It's not going to be an easy jump. They've got the boys. ward. Oh, the grip's there, though. Okay, very beautiful way to start. Wommy's going to still drop the ultimate just in case anyone else is playing behind yeah. it, but now DB protected with the Lincolns, they can get a decent amount of damage. Like, Morphling does hit very hard. He doesn't have some Spiderlings to play with, though. What's going in the river, DB? Sanctity, though... Gets the BKB to protect him. Once again, Morphling with the attribute shift. He waveformed in, though, aggressively, but DB's going to be okay. The Snap 5 will not have the same fate, though. The Rolling Thunder's up in a couple of seconds, Logan. Have to be hesitant about this team fight. Vrish? Bottom bottom lane. Who else is nearby? It's going to be Wami. They've got Kishka as well with the Mortimer Kiss. So, yeah, this is going to be a big kill. Eleven was getting a lot of farm here with the offlane Queen of Pain. It's going to be a second death, but we just see the position in the net worth. So just slowing down. You know, let's smoke and try to find a kill, but let's also farm at the same time. It's going to be a bit of a time key for Armor Genius. At least they're getting some items. Azura with BKB. One has got the Yules to play with. So chain control or the defensive factor against the Orchid. He's going to jump. Beautiful ulti gets the control onto two and the cookie into the middle of the fight. Now, the monkey's not going to be able to play with the Wukong. So, Spear's going to prevent this for the moment, but Azura should be okay. They're zapping away the damage, but all the bonus armor coming out from the ring is enough to keep the monkey alive. And now they're going to go down to the south. It's 11. Great use of the replicate from DB. Steals the Queen of Pain's abilities. Blinks on over the tree line. And Army Genius is flying two in that skirmish. If you can get the morph on cooldown, then it can give a big advantage for Logan in these fights. Yeah, and the raise is a big DB. part of why morph is in this game. Does he buy enough time? Nightmare looking Nightmare. to do the case, but he doesn't get the strength morph off. Oh, what a huge Sonic Wave hitting onto all four. And now Logan, they get slaughtered behind the tower. Three down. They're going to move on the high ground, but Azura gets a pretty big ultimate up. But where's the control to hold them inside the ring, Azura? He's going to pay some respect now to Sanctity. Static Link's on cooldown. They should get him with a sp- Oh, Ooh. nice mischief dodge. Okay. Time to try. There's no Sonic Wave for 30, but the rest of their spells, BKB back up now in Razor. Wummy. He sees 4-2-3. Oh. Trying to play around with the cliff. Oh, no way. Wummy makes it out. They're still going to be able to run into the, the Broodmother. Beautifully done. 4-2-3 almost evading that attempt. And hang on. They've caught another. Chain control from Wommy coming through after with the Aghanim shard. Eleven's going to be able to fall. Can they close the distance with the cookie? With the blink still a cooldown. DB offers the burst. And army geniuses. They hit back. They lost the previous skirmish. But now they're able to even it up and move back to the pit. Do you see where he set up any of those spinner snares? Um, No, I think I'm they... I saw a couple get procced before. The... Oh, he's got one that Snapfire just ran it. Dude, it's so dumb. Look, oh, it's so dumb. Yeah. Yeah, I wish they were easy to, to see or find on the map. <laughs> they come like, in. You put them on ramps, and you just control oh, so oh much of the map. Wummy. He's going to swashbuckle in. Meanwhile, Sanctity is going to put the emphasis oh, to deal with the pain. Oh, that's a beautiful start from Logan. I don't think there's anything they can do to keep the pain go alive. Even an ultimate committed from 11. Look at the kill regardless, even though the Sonic Wave not really having a lot of impact, but... That's no pain going now for 70. And this tower is going to take a beating. Yeah, from what I saw... Oh, DB. 
Oh, they're gonna miss the spear. DB should be okay. Morph's gonna be back up shortly as well. Who's he looked to play with in this? They need to deal with the Lincolns. They've got the Fiends Cup on the right side. Right, Beautifully done. They'll get the first life. Okay. Now they've got the ring already set up for the next. He might have be forced to pop refresher for the BKB, but the chain control's gonna come we out beforehand. Saying did he just being able to evade to the left? Dude, the spin is snare. Oh my god. <laughs> just hold two back, man. It's so uh, dumb. Problems. And for Lugan, who do you feel like has to be Who's that priority number one that you're looking to jump in these fights? I think the supports, the backlines, sure. like they're so squeak like you, you can't let a bane get a full duration fiends grip on someone like your razor, for example. Um, you at least need to address uh, some jump of their in, spells. Ace? He's got no more follow-up, so Ace just gonna lose his life. Meanwhile, with the back line, they're gonna target another Broodmother as well. Yeah. It's Wami finds 423, and Nightmare to make sure they can surround the carry on the gun. And meanwhile, Wami, he's controlling more heroes. Doesn't have any follow-up yeah. afterwards with the rest of the team Please, to lock Please, 11 into place, but attack. Army Genius is fine too, and that's right at the front of the T2 tower. Yeah. Kind of interesting. Brood never ended up going back for that BKB. She had it queued up for quite some time after the Orca, but decided to buy the Yags, now buying it, going into a Scythe of Ice, so... You know, Saint Diddy? Oh. Nice oh, Ag shot from Wormy. Beautiful timing. And the Fiend's Grip as well. DB's going to be forced to turn to try and deal with Eleven. They got the Bash coming out afterwards. And meanwhile, they've also brought down Kishka. Razor Soul's Refresher, but there's who else is with the Razor? Popeye's back, but you don't feel good about that one. And DB on the high ground is just this unstoppable Morphling. All of a sudden, what initiation. This Pengo, I guess that's the big thing I didn't factor. Like, Brute playing without a BKB just makes some of these fights so hard to do anything. Like, if she ever gets caught, she just dies. Duel. All right, well, there's your Sonic Wave now down as well. So, yeah. melee racks. Free racks. Walk in, walk out. Go back, take Roche. They've only got 20 seconds before Mars is back, though, so we'll see if they can get... They're going back in! They're, actually they're going yeah. back in! The lane ward scouting out Sanctity, but Ace Wall with the drag back. Sanctity makes it to the high gun, beautifully positioned from the Marcy. What? They're going to probably double back to their high ground of the triangle. They need to keep the wards yeah. alive, but not having Wukongs and the Rolling Thunder, I actually don't think they can take this fire. Yeah. DV. No, they know they're in here. They have Spiderlings. They have the the Spinner Snare as Wami. well, but... He's going to move in. Play? Can he get the jump? May go for a oh, steal. what the Rolling Thunder! Sun's up three. Can they get the Aegis? TV finds it. They've got the second life, and they're just killing everyone. Wami gets a backline with the help of the Mortimer Kisses. The artillery just raining down. Hellfire's little gun. They didn't have a sense of that fight. Just losing all three heroes. They don't kill anyone on army geniuses. And now this high ground soon to be besieged. It just feels like everything was kind of set back for him from the start. With his lane stage going poorly, he itemized, you know, in a different way. Like this non-carry style and I, I just don't feel like we see this brute's impact on any single team fight they're going for it t4 is trying to force some buybacks no glyph on raiding as well to play with kishka's in they don't get the, the attribute shift oh that is the most ideal start for them they need a way to be able to set up for round two though db well he's not going to give him that opportunity double waveform getting rid of the mars I'm need back. to get the morph because wami instead he's going to be in fiends keep his off to the right side the multi-man boundless strike and that'll be it army geniuses a statement of a last fight it's time to celebrate we're diving the fountain as db take a bow what an incredible game two from the morphling just brings them all the way home to send us to a game three Radiance they didn't GG yet. Okay, Morphling got out. If Morphling died in the fountain there, this game maybe could have dragged, but what a way to end Radiant it. Army geniuses. Pop can't Both. do anything. Oh, okay. What? That's an interesting <laughs> TP in. Yeah, yeah. Look, she's going for some stat padding. They, they're buying back. They know they can end this game. And that's it. <laughs> GG's fine. <laughs> You ended on such an exclamation mark, and I was like, wait a second, is this game actually over? They're found and diving. Monkey did die in the fountain. Dying Morphling out. almost died in the fountain, but uh, yeah, what a way to bounce back here. And I mean, DB's Morphling, you literally said at the end of the drop, like if, if he gets farmed, DB's Morphling will 
Yeah, I'm, I really thought the Underlord was going to be a hero that we would see prioritize a little bit more in, in Eastern Europe because I thought they were a region that was playing at a decent amount in 201 and I thought the hero got buffed up with the, the Dark Rift and overall, but... Uh, sort of. Like, it, it, you wanted to get a bit more, I think. Like, ideally, you want the Metamorph for Harass plus, like, a couple of Creep Waves. Instead, they... They didn't even get it for one creep wave, it feels like. But he can still, I, like, this is still TB. He still last hits even without metamorphosis. If he's not getting well, top lane, Narman, because it's double melee. He's going to go fight. down first blood. You just mentioned uh, that yes. Phoenix, yeah, not a good laner. Then this guy, Bloodseeker, is going to have a beautiful so time. And, well, they're already showing that yeah. to be the case. I think they feel no up here. I, I just think their lane is so weak. TA doing a good job landing all these side blades, though. And... I'm really putting a zero on the back foot. Bottom lane, DB, with that second round of the Metamorphosis, Verish is able to jump in as well, so... At least this time they're able to convert, and they will have this meta for multiple waves to be able to play with as well. Also kind of frees up Verish to now do whatever he wants, and... Farmy geniuses. They plan A, let's team fight, let's win some, you know, let's let's take some fights right now, contest stacks, but the plan B, TB, Bonnie, is a pretty solid one. Charging up the epicenter, they have the ward on Ace-12's position, so they're going to be able to bring down the sky to start. I don't think they get 11. They've got two points in the sun race, so they'll make the attempt. 4-2-3 and Sanctity are moving to the area, but they need a way to be able to protect the Supernova, and they don't have a way. Wami just gets the bar strike up, but he's going to move into his own grave. As now Azura, he, he orbs to the right, so he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Actually, he's able to finish the kill. Hunting him, though. Okay. Boundless still on cooldown for 10. Though. He should make it. Monkey King could go hunting, but Boundless Strike in three. So, Pug deciding not to TP out or anything. They'll lose this tower. Behold. Oh, beautiful. beautiful! The last second time. Orbs up in two seconds. They've got the Sun Ray as well. That should be enough to keep Azura alive. And they're starting to make Ooh. their way bottom. Wami only two points in the Borrow Strike, so the range isn't the greatest. They also see Ace 12 starting to converge bottom as well, so... I think it's pretty fast. I don't know if you want to fight into him while Puck's so low. Sense. Yeah. It does feel like the the lead is maybe a tiny bit misleading. Just because oh, Logan's super strong now. They need they, they could just suddenly break him in this he's game. This gank here. Look at the triangle. Marcy. DB, he's going to do a lot of damage. 4 2 3. Needs to respect the turret blade. Can he manter off the sandstone? He Needs target. trouble. He can he put a sander target? DB, no, he doesn't. Norman tried to fly into the middle, but it was a bit too late. And now Lil Gun, oh man, just entering the triangle. This should be Roche now. The trees and TP's home. That honestly could have been really bad for army geniuses. Let's force them all top though, so this could give a bit of a bit opportunity for army geniuses just to get into their jungle and maybe get some wards up or D ward as well. I have a lot of control bottom. They are starting to mass TP down actually. It's going to be the monkey NTA that reclaimed this side of the map. You? They have all this vision. They see all these heroes down Wummy. here. Oh, great reaction from Kishka with the silence. They're going to be able to join them with the Dark Rift. The Boundless Strike, so Sanctity can set up with the damage. Supernova for the last second, but again, there's no way to protect it. Egg goes down, and 423 is going to charge onto DP. Got to get out. I don't know if Army Genius can take this fight. They might get the first life, though. The Illusion should finally deal with the TA's Ages. <sighs> okay. And they fought back on Sankey there. That was just... They, they, they don't want to play Wami. high ground defense. They want to go be aggressive. Onto the blood seeker. The chain control needs to be further because they could get the BKP off and 423 does. It's going to be able to run out of range of the supernova. DB's trying to chase him down. Meanwhile, they're able to get rid of Wami. But the coil leashing them together. DB is going to look to enter the fight with the metamorphosis. It's plenty of damage Ooh. to get rid of both supports. But can the terror blade do it by himself now? Oh, Turns with the Sunder, trying to send toe to toe versus Sanctity to keep him by the TA. Has the second life to play with. Buybacks coming out from either side, but they should be able to set up for round two on army geniuses. They have the damage over time to go through Sanctity with the peak heavy already on cooldown. They get the TA. Now they can look to chain this into more kills as Kishka. Well, he rejoined the fight. The Scardi slowed the damage over time. There's no trees to play with. And Azura fights a triple kill. So army geniuses, they hold off the Aegis advantage. And maybe now they might be back in this game. A little bit of magic resistance, which is incredible versus 
kind of some of the burst you were saying maybe it's just looking to tank up for the Mystic Flare. Bottom lane, Azura and Wami, but 4 2 3, he sh should be able to get the Sand King. He's actually going to look to TP out instead. Do they double back with the Fiend's Gate? Eleven's going in! Oh no, what's going on? Eleven is in, he's out, snatch and grab, and he's out with murder. So good. That's so. I. That is. That is the way to use a Fiend's Gate. I love. I. <laughs> He can't really deal with the TB or right click down the TB, but everyone else can definitely melt to this Underlord. Uh oh. They have a double damage rune on Sanctity again, and 25. DB's going to be farming oh, under a trap. Up. They are all yep. nearby. Oh, the oh, oh they missed that. He gets a Lincoln, but look at the damage coming through. Wami instantly with a power strike, holding Sanctity back, but he's able to get the blink. They're going to try and turn to deal with the egg, but they don't have the right clicks. It's a really heavy commitment, though, from Army Genius. It's multiple ultimates forced out to start to fight, <laughs> but they're going to turn to try and bring down Sanctity. Coil out, damage from TB. They just blow Sanctity up. No remorse from them, and they're going to move this onto another kill. A zero, though. Needs to be cautious. Mix the flare along with the pit. He'll just get out. Army Genius is again, though, another successful skirmish. And, you know, level, yeah, level 20 Skyrath, he's doing a lot of damage. The Ancient Seal, that Insta Silence is a crazy cast range, too. There's a Hex, so, I mean, this Skyrath is someone you definitely can't ignore in a team fight, especially as your BKBs get shorter and shorter. What do you do, though, if you're Army Genius? Oh, finally. Yeah, they'll, they'll take whoever they can get in the Marcy. Oh, they waited long enough. The patience paying off. Oh, Zura. He gets a coil onto two. The rest of Radiant, they're sure to connect. Wami's going to be in with the epicenter. So both supports locked outside the base. They should be able to bring them down easy like that. DB standing ground, so they won't be able to move in from Lil Gun. Hang on, Puck. Oh, okay. Lincoln's going to protect him. Get the gem. Rupture will wear off on tanking, so. They do force the buy. I guess, you know, the patience kind of paid off, but it felt like Army of Geniuses almost knew they were waiting to do that because they responded TB? so damn quickly. So what did he do? He almost ticked out. All right, he will tick out. The Rupture, yeah. This is so annoying for TB to play. I mean, that Aegis was expiring in a minute, so it's not like that Dark Rift lasted just long enough to get him out of there. And that kill gets him out on the map, so now oh, Kishka oh, won't be able to deal with because Azura and Wami instantly making sure they can protect the ward, but Wami's stuck on the high ground. So the Mystic Flare's going to be enough to get the kill. Maybe they can turn it to the Puck next as well. Control, that's the question. Can they lock the Puck into place? Gets the full distance, the Jorn's going to look for a TP on Azura. Can they get him? Atos is there, the nick of time, and Azura is cleaned up. And these teams... <laughs> It's great. I, I actually think, like, the longer games go, in some ways, Roshan starts to matter a little bit less. Like, it's still super important. There's a reason teams play around it, but, like, it's a lot harder. Like, this TB's already got nine items, like, plus a neutral item. Like, he, he can drop his bottle, but, like, taking an Aegis is is possible, but it's easier. It's Rish, not like the easiest thing in the look world. Look at the jump! Sanctity! Protected for the end for the moment. He's only got 11 okay. playing behind it, but the core's gonna lease them together. And DB's just gonna charge up the high ground. The fee to look to break the coil. Supernova directly dropped on the dome as well, but Sanctity! They haven't killed off the TA just yet. Escaping to the north, they need to be cautious. DB doesn't get the Sunder! It'll come at a cost. They'll lose the Templar Assassin, but 4 2 3 just might be able to clean up. Meanwhile, Wami's gonna look for a TP out. He'll be successful along with the Phoenix. So somehow, Army Geniuses, multiple heroes make it out, but buybacks as well from Lil Gun. The, the nukes from coming out from the puck, as well as Norman, actually managed to finish off the TA post BKB. Azura? Oh, Azura? Azura, you pulled oh, back no. before! Oh, no. I don't know if you can make that play. You pulled back before. Oh, and take, that is the perfect timing for that. Don't worry, don't worry. We all make mistakes, says Sanctity. It's not the end of the world to give him an Aegis, but... They're, they're going TP the end of the game. Yep. They want to at least force TB's buyback. Like, he, he has it. He Wami's in trouble. The, oh, lucky Wami's got a buyback, but... Yeah, you, you're right. TB, he's got to force his own buyback just to protect the buildings now. He's got another metamorphosis with the refresher. You just got to buyback on Wami. It feels that way. Radiance middle tower is under right. the buyback. It's just such a sad spot to be in because you throw these buybacks but you don't get any kind of engagement 
and they're just using the rupture to control them. Like the yeah. rupture at the back. That's a really early BKB usage, and DB refreshes on cooldown. Look oh, at me. Says, what is that in? There? Okay, that's a lot oh, of damage. They almost get four, two, three. He's trying to play around with the sustain down to the south. Phoenix, he's killed off, but he does have a second life to utilize. Another egg. Who else is on the right? Naman. Trying to solo kill Kishka with a Sunray, he should be able to do it. Where's the rest of Lil Gun? They're having their own Supernova. fight in the middle. Swooping over to the right, but meanwhile, DB, Thrones exposed. I think they've got to go for the heroes instead, and DB's gone. Four, two, three, they've done it. Lil Gun just rip apart one by one, and they have secured a slot into Division One with this series victory. Oh, what a crazy game three. Holy moly, that was.